we have uh, reported on interference with uh, doping controls uh, on many occasions, uh, not just in the past, but uh, up to and including the middle of this year, well after it was known that this investigation was underway. Uh, we have found uh, cover-ups, we found destruction of samples in the laboratories, we found payments of money in order to conceal uh, doping tests. And we're then going to interchangeably go to our conference call to take any questions from the line as well. It's disappointing to see the, the nature and the extent uh, of what was going on. Uh, and, and to reach the conclusion that it could not possibly have happened without everybody knowing about it or consenting to it. So it's, uh, it, it's worse than we thought. Uh, it, uh, it has the effect, unlike other forms of corruption, of, of actually affecting the results on the field of play and, and that athletes are, uh, both in Russia and, and abroad, uh, are suffering as a result of that. So. The opportunity to, to acknowledge that it, it exists and it may, it may be a residue of the old Soviet Union system. I wanted to ask a, a general question on... Uh, as the investigation went on, uh, we uh, had discovered uh, information that uh, not only related to sport uh, corruption in the general sense of it, but also to possible criminal actions uh, as well. And uh, that portion, uh, including the facts and documents that we uh, had in our possession, uh, has been turned over to Interpol. Uh, after uh, reviewing it, the Interpol uh, uh, authorities uh, referred us to the French authorities, and the French authorities uh, have agreed to uh, uh, take up the matter. And, uh, as I say, we, we, we certainly do not think that Russia is the only country with a doping problem, and we don't think that athletics is the only sport with a doping problem. I think it showed very clearly that uh, main whistleblowers Vitaly and Julia Stepanov did a great job. For me, they are the most famous and the most important whistleblowers in the history of sports because they did a courageous job. They tried their best to release and to reveal doping in uh, Russia, and this was really, really risky for them. Yeah, I think it's necessary. Uh, sports has, was always uh, claiming that they fight against doping seriously, and now we see an uh, independent commission with recommendations. Russia is obviously a uh, really big, big, big issue, and uh, they don't follow the water code, so it's quite clear for me and understandable that they have to be expelled from the Olympics and the World Championships. Is this to be a cynical optimist. Uh, this is not good. Uh, it's something that's been suspected all along. Um, I think a lot of people say, well, uh, you know, in, in Russia, maybe it's state-sponsored or state-supported. Uh, in other places, private enterprise uh, takes over and, and uh, as they say, tries to level the playing field. I, I, we, our conclusion was that they can't not have known. And, and in Russia, that, you know, uh, that, that kind of silence is consent. It's, it's, What's interesting about this is, is that, that, that we finally identified one of the major powers as being involved in this. Uh, it's not just you know, small countries or little pockets. Of, uh, this, is, this is a major sporting country. Uh, it's got to be a huge embarrassment, even though it's confined to uh, athletics.